I'm gonna show you guys today a really easy way to catch stripers using fresh sardines cut into like small pieces. All right, first you need to get yourself into a spot where there are stripers. If you guys look right here, I got some fish showing right here at uh, the bottom, about like 13 feet. And right now I'm anchored out here. They're kind of small, but super loaded. So it doesn't really matter to me. I just got a light trout set up, a little trout rod, trout spinning reel. I got a six pound test with a size number six, circle hook, octopus hook, and then a little split shot weight. It's the lightest weight you can get away with. So I have the little split shot weight, just about six inches to a foot from the hook. All right, so here's my fresh sardine. This is what it looks like. The most important thing is using fresh sardines for sure. I would definitely not recommend buying them from a local gas station that happens to sell bait. There's some gas stations around this like Castig that sell frozen sardines. But the problem with those sardines are, is that they're freezer burned. I've noticed that fish don't really like them. And I've noticed they bite a lot better on fresh sardines. The best way I recommend getting fresh sardines, unless you're on an ocean boat and you happen to have leftover bait, is going to a market that happens to sell sardines. So in my case, I went to a local Asian supermarket nearby my house. So now I'm gonna just cut it up into small chunks to fit into my hooks. So now that I got into these little pieces, all I'm doing is at the top end of this cut bait, I'm gonna get the hook and I'm gonna hook it through. And I recommend uh, if, you, if you do have it frozen, just defrost it before you do all this. So like that, you got a hook point coming on right there and you're ready to fish. All right, so earlier, last time we saw the fish at around 13 feet of water. So I'm gonna be dropping it down. I'm gonna let the weight go all the way down. There we go. There's a striper. That's how you catch him. Small little guy, but I think y'all get the point. All right, so let's just produce this little guy right here and we'll try to do it again. So you guys see all that right at the bottom, kind of at the bottom. So I got my sardine on the hook again. Put a new one on, I'm gonna drop it down. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna take too long. It's only uh, 13 feet. This split shot weight, I should get down there fairly quickly. So I'm gonna wait till my line stops moving. It's a little bit busy out here, a little bit rocky, a little bit windy. It's a weekend, a lot of party boats are out. All right, I think we reached bottom. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna close the bale, just reel up a little bit from here. And now I'm gonna wait for a bite. Uh, school's not here right now, but they'll come back again. It hasn't even been five seconds and I'm already getting bit. I'm getting little nibbles. It might be hard for you guys to tell, but getting a lot of nibbles. Ooh. Now the school's moving in right there. See that? There you go. There you go. Got another one on. How you get him? Swallow it. All right, time to let him go. All right, I'm gonna try to put my underwater camera down here to show you guys what it looks like down there. I mean, hopefully I can feel the bite and hopefully it's recording. Let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm getting bit. I, mean, I felt, I just felt a thump right now. Let's see if he comes back. There we go, got one on the camera. Let's go. Let's try to get another one. Oh, there you go. There you go, fish on. Oh, it came off.
using a split shot this time because uh, underwater camera is making it super hard to set the hook. So going back to the regular, just dropping it all the way down, wait until I reach the bottom, closing the spool, bringing in about two handle turns and just wait for a bite. Fish on. Fish on. There you go. Okay. There you go. Hey. Small little guy. All right. There you go. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed that. If you guys liked this video, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next trip. Peace.